the elective our people yep. so they won't be gunmen. That's right. Get them education. Get them at education. That's right. We the real virtues. Right. But now no, but now the mothers need to understand that. First of all, you need Jesus Christ. That's the first right, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need a savior. That's right. That's right. We need the Bible. Real trash, man. You're doing the dirty work that a lot of people don't want to do. That's right. You need that Bible. Let me bring something out of this Bible. Oh, yeah, this is Daniel 3 and 1. It says, Go to the bloody city. What is the bloody city? America. What did they do? They brought us in here, raped, robbed us, brought us into slavery. This is why the young men are the way they are. The foundation of America was a complete lie. Right? You agree? Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Anisraeli. I'm Israeli. You're Israeli. You're from the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. I'm from the twelve tribes of Israel. Which tribe are you from? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Which tribe are you from? I'm from a tribe over there. I'm from a tribe of there. How, how do you know that you were wrong? How did you know that you were wrong? I don't know what. How did you become an Israelite? How did you become one? I lived there. That don't, don't that, don't that don't mean none. That don't mean none. Anyway, let you guys. Oh, let me ask you a question so. before you go. Yes, okay. <laughs> Who was there in this before 1948? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever was there, they didn't do much for the country. Uh, that's true, but that's not the question I asked. Who was there before 1948, before the Israelis got there? Arabs, Christians, Muslims. The Palestinians. Palestinians. And you know who kicked them out? In through NATO and the league of NATO. NATO. Here's a wait a minute. Get Genesis 12 and 6. Yes. Right, 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 right. Oh, nice. Hey, 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 guys, wait. Now listen. This is a two-hour conversation. No, no, I'm taking her out the line. Genesis 12 and 6. Here we go. And Genesis. Abraham passed through the land unto the place. Uh -huh, 12 and 12 and 9. 12 and 9. Genesis 9 and 6. Genesis 9 and 6. Yeah, read Genesis 9 and 6. We're going to show you something. This is Genesis 9 and 31. I got to go. No, 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 no. It's Genesis 9 and 6. All right. All right. Go ahead. Read that. Read that anyway. This is Genesis. This is Genesis 9 and 6. That's what we got to do. Whoso shed of man's blood. Yes, sir. My man shall his blood be shed. Yeah, they went in there. And, and this, is, this is the sick part about them. They know. They know that they wasn't there before them. They knew. You knew. They already knew. You said, obviously, guys, that were What did you say? You said, obviously, guys, that didn't know what they were doing, right? Or something like that. No, you said they did. Not, that's the same yeah. thing except for the Native Americans. Yeah, they didn't do much for the country. Right. But they, how do you know that? Yeah. Right. I took a clip where they was, I showed them, they had like professors, man, they had hats, they were scholars there, man. And Gab was doing pretty good mm -hmm. over here. They wanted to make it seem like Gab was sad, but uh -huh. some of them were. Uh -huh. But that Gab, they had, the, they had, if it wasn't for Gab, they would have starved. Gab had uh, food, streets, all that. How did you set up? Yeah. A lot of these streets, this, this from go back uh, the day when Gab. Well, I'm talking about in, uh, in, in, in that holy land. Oh, yes. Who was there before 1948? The, the dispensation act. Right? They know. They know. Except that, uh, that video. You know, that clip. Uh, recorded. Before uh, 1997. In 1897, they had a recording. And who was walking around? Our people. If I can bring this out. Okay, for, uh, for the uh, Gadites, right? It says, uh, where white man went wrong. It says, Indian chief, two eagles was asked by a white U.S. government official. You have observed the white man for 90 years. You have seen his wars and his techno technological advances. You've seen his progress and the damage he's done. The chief nodded in agreement. The official continued, considering all these events, in your opinion, where did the white man go wrong? The chief said that the government official did reply, when white man find land, Indians running it. No taxes, no debt, plenty buffalo, plenty beaver, clean water, women did all the work, medicine man free, Indian man spent all day hunting and fishing all night having sex. 
<laughs> then the chief came back and smiled. Only white man dumb enough to think he can approve a system like that. <laughs> I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Quidash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, your fellow followers and believers of this of this faith, and shalom to the elect. Uh, anyway, um, this was a video I'm putting together that was um, from camp. And is um, I believe a convert. He almost reminds me of Ishakar or some northern tribe. I don't know, um, but you know he kind of boasting <clears throat> of living in the land, and he is the people or whatever the case is. And as you see in the clip, some of it I cut, obviously, you know. But you see the point. But I'm gonna prove through the scriptures, right, that um, the biblical Israelites were scattered. Right, they wouldn't be mostly. Well, they like here in in Babylon, what we call America. Those slave ships brought a big portion of the the, um, the southern tribe, and you know just Israelites in general here, down in uh, South America and scattered throughout the globe. They wouldn't all just be here, right? They would be scattered as well, and driven through the other nations. Uh, this guy, again, I can't even see him being an authentic one of them, right? He just, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's an up in the air thing with some of them. Some of them. Uh, he could have even been a Jake. He may not have been. I, I don't know. But what we must understand is the Israelites are scattered amongst them too, right? The elites is the one keep that bloodline kind of on lock, right? So... It's another video. So I'm just going to read a couple uh, scriptures. I think most of it pretty much said it all. Um, this guy actually knew, right? So it wasn't any secret, but this is not taught in the schools, right? So this is not taught. They, you know, they've given us a curriculum to learn what they want us to learn, but when it comes to real history and real economics, nope, they're not going to teach us that. First John 2 and 20 it says but ye have an unction from the Holy One and ye know all things that unction goes back to um, uh, an anointing to know all things right and how do we wake up the most high put the spirit on other men the apostles to wake me up and men like me up and wake, wake other men up with a Spirit, the Lord put the Spirit on other men to wake them up. They have the Spirit to wake us up, and we have the Spirit to wake others up. That's just how it works. So, and there's a lot of ones that's going to wake up, but they're not going to know the deep mysteries of the Bible. That's the key. Now, most Israelite camps know this, so this is not hard to figure out amongst the ones that they know, that we know. But if it wasn't, for, I put this video clip in here of 1897, you know, because, you know, sooner or later they're going to try to say something else. Hey, I even had one guy say that it was evolution is why they don't look like that no more. That, that's what he told, what he left a message and said. In a matter of 50, 60 years, right, uh, 50 years, all of a sudden evolution have changed them that quick? Well, I don't think so. Anyway, Joel 3 and 2. I will also gather all nations and bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh's judgment, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. So the question is, who is the they that have scattered the children of Israel among the nations and among the lands? So we can't say the people that's there now are the people in entirety of the Bible because they were the ones that had aid and uh, helping or responsible for help scattering the children of Israel among the nations. And one of them big uh, um, trade goes back to slavery. Even in the dispersion of Israel, 70 AD, 71 AD, 
right? The dispersion. But then you had this big slavery that came abroad, the sub-Saharan, transatlantic uh, slave trade. There was some serious commodity changing back and forth when it came to those slaveries, <clears throat> mainly that transatlantic, because some of the Isra Israelites did migrate into East Africa. You know, there's a lot of Israelite groups that don't teach that. There was Israelites involved in that too, right? So, it is what it is. This man, he he knew, but if we never said anything, he wouldn't have said anything about it. So we had to show that we knew. And then he agreed. And then the thing he said was that they was nothing to the land. They didn't contribute to the land. That's what he said. You know, if I live in my own house and I made the house the way I wanted it to, how could somebody else come and take it and say, I never contributed to my own house, my own heritage, my own land. Obviously, there was much contribution because um, afterwards, you see what happened to the land now. Right, that's a great contribution, right? Much confusion, much chaos. They did it, to, and that's what the brother was going into earlier. Ashan was talking about Gad and the Native Americans. They said the same thing about them. They didn't contribute, although they had the first health care. They had quite a few inventions like the refrigerator and various other things, how they kept food cold and if so it wouldn't, wouldn't spoil, right? They had a health care system set up in place, even with direct medicines from the earth all these things but you know what this man did he came and created laboratories he came, he created Kim Corp he created the, the, the food and drug at mid you know he, he, he came and created all these things and there's not much I'm going to say on that but that against the, the natural way of things is what we see anyway Jeremiah 30 the word uh, 30 and 2 thus speak of the Lord God of Israel saying write thee all the words that I speak I have spoken unto thee in a book for lo the days come when the Lord right that I will bring the days come saith the Lord that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah saith the Lord right and this is kind of precepts to Joel out of the third chapter and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave their fathers and they shall possess it so now if this has already happened and the Lord will cause you to go into the land of your fathers then we got to look at Hebrews 8 when it says and although they don't believe in the New Testament that same thing is also written in the Old Testament we got to look at when the Lord gives us our land and write his laws in our heart and we be to him a people well we wouldn't be sinning no more right why would the Lord give you a land just for you to destroy and sin now that has happened in the past but I mean in the last days right um, it says um, and these are the words that, I, that the Lord speak concerning Israel and concerning Judah right because now you got the Israelites uh, the northern tribe and the southern tribe who is now coming together as Hosea 1 says but thus saith the Lord we have heard a voice of a trembling and fear and not of peace as ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and also all faces are turned into paleness Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. Even at the time of Jacob's trouble, he shall be saved out of it. So we can understand that the Lord has caused the children of Israel pure pain and suffering. And if it's not the children of Israel, then if we're not the children of Israel, then who the hell is? These people say God loves everybody. Well, what happened to us? Is he loves us for punishing us, right? Or, or he just loves us in general he, so he loved us that's why he punished us right so if he loved us 
like he loved us and he punished us that's why he showed us love or he just even though we're punished we're just love people along with everybody else but if that was the case then all nations would have came in the same captivity and the same slavery see you got these people who complain and talk and say all nations had it yeah because it was different nations going in at different times if the Lord had a a one world guru lifestyle for all mankind then all nations you would have seen more bites on them slave ships right you would have seen you would have seen so called white people in the same slave ship shackled the same way up but for whatever reason now it's all about loving everybody but Ecclesiastes 3.15 says different yep for uh, this verse 8 for it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord of hosts that I will break his yoke from off thy neck we seen this in Deuteronomy 28.48 when he said he'll put a yoke of iron upon thy neck and will burst, and these, this is the spiritual yoke, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Right? All we've ever been is everybody's servants. You're on the basketball court, the boxing arenas, athletics, you know, every facet of life, man. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and their king, and David their king, who I will raise up unto them. Now this whole chapter is good. So I'm not going to read it all. But this is the future for the biblical Israelites. You know, the times of trouble is coming. But the sooner it comes, the better it it will be. Because then we'll be out of this captivity. When the Lord wraps this thing up. Which we can clearly see. If you ain't looking at the news. And you ain't paying attention to how fast people are driving. And how they acting like maniacs, you know? They these elites want people to be uh, unrational thinkers, speeders, riding. Everything's fast. Everything's quick. Fast deliveries, you know? They want everything quick. Quick surgeries to make everything quick and fix. Because this puts you in a mindset of instability, right? No accountability for yourself, and you'll wind up doing things that you normally wouldn't do, like take that MTOB, the MOTB. They want you in that mind state fast, quick, now. That's all I have on that. Shalom.